So we finally brought the 2020 National Essay Competition of the Channels Book Club to an end. We call it the Channels Book Club Prize for Literature. Over the week, we had the final round, and it was exciting. Ten brilliant finalists, nine females, and one young man went head to head as the battle for the top three positions. It was, it was such an exciting experience. What they did at the final round were essentially two things. One, they were given an essay to write on the spot by the judges. And two, they met with the judges one on one. So it was the combination of the initially submitted reviews and also the essay they wrote on the day, plus the interview sessions they had with the judges. The judges collated their performances in those three aspects of the competition and came up with the top three. The whole event was virtual and it, it, was, really, it was really fun. Uh, the, the students, absolutely brilliant. Let's get to meet the 10 finalists once again. At the end of their battle, three girls came tops. Let's get to meet them. Tiwaluluwa Ogunleye is a student of Loyola Jesuit College, Abuja. She's 15 years old, and Tiwa Oluwa wants to study law. She came out tops. She took the first position in the competition. Second is Oluwa Lanuayo Ashiru. She's 17 years old, a student of Corona Secondary School, Agbara. Actually, she's graduated from Corona. As at the time she was writing this, she was in SS3 Corona Secondary School, Agbara. Ashiro wants to study neuropsychology. She wants to become a neuropsychologist, and she came second in the competition. And third is Geraldine Ishekwene. I hope I pronounced Geraldine's name very well. Brilliant girl, absolutely brilliant. Top fifth international secondary school, Aqua Ebom. She's 17 years old and she wants to become a broadcaster. These three young ladies are absolutely brilliant. Now, um, Geraldine and Tiwa joined us via Zoom while um, Lano joined us in the studio. And I had a very interesting conversation with the three of them. Enjoy this. Lano, nice to have you on Channels Book Club. Thank you very much. I'm glad to be here. And congratulations. You did great Thank in the competition. You. Thank you again. Well done. That was no easy feat at all. No easy I feat. That. Well done, really. <laughs> and um, joining us also is Tiwa. Tiwa. Congratulations. You really, impressed, you, you really impressed the judges and all of us. 
Thank you, sir. That's nice to hear. And also, Geraldine, thank you very much for joining us. Congratulations. Thank you for having me. Great to have you. Well done, the three of you. Well done. Uh, so, Lano, how was the competition for you? Um, I know that you were persuaded by your mom or somebody, I'm trying to recall now, to take part in the competition. Is that, is that true? Yes. Writing a review was really out of my comfort zone for me, so I wasn't really willing. But after they talked to me and they told me to embrace the challenge and the learning opportunity that I'll get from it, I decided to try out and you can see that it was successful. Well done, well done. Uh, Tiwa, was that, is, is that your story too? Did you, uh, how, how did you get into the competition? Oh, okay. So my dad bought the book, but he didn't tell me at first that it was for the competition. So I read it and he asked me what I thought of it and then told me about competition and asked if I would be willing to review it. And I wasn't really sure what to write about the book. And it took me a little while. Like I would write and I wouldn't like it, have to come back and rewrite. But in the end, I wrote something that I felt happy with and submitted it. And I guess that worked out. From both of your stories, uh, Lano, your parents were key. And in your own case, your mom. In Tiwa's case, her dad. That, that's the way it works. Yeah. You get all this encouragement from parents and teachers, right? Yes, really. Yeah, okay. Um, Geraldine, what's your own story? Um, well, when I heard about this competition, I was actually very excited to try it out. But at some point, um, after um, getting to read some other um, of my mates' um, essays, um, I began to feel discouraged, like mine wasn't good enough. So. I actually gave up, gave up at some point, but I got um, encouragement from my teachers, from my mates, and I eventually decided to take it on. Fantastic. I'm actually very happy that I was, um, <laughs> I was um, chosen. I, I'm I was really surprised. <laughs> great, great, great. Uh, um, Lano, how, how was it when you were picked yes. in the final 10? What was it like? And then when you when you eventually made the top three, what was that like for you? Um, by the time I got the mail from my teacher that I was picked in the final ten, I'd already thought, okay, maybe the competition had just been dropped Canceled. for this year. Yes, because of because COVID. Of COVID. Yeah. Yeah, so I was really surprised. I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> then when after going through the whole the remaining two stages and coming out second, I was really happy and really thankful to God for the whole chance and the opportunity. Tiwa, well done. Well, how did you feel you, when, when you were um, picked as a finalist and then hearing that you had won? Oh, okay. So the first stage of competition ended in April and I submitted my entry in April. So I had somehow forgotten about it. For a month or two after that, I would check my mail and see if anything had come up, but nothing did. So, like Lano said, I thought the competition had either been dropped or it had taken place and I just missed it. So when, I think about last week or so, the vice principal called me and told me that the competition was going to hold and it was during CA and I had been cho chosen as a finalist, I was more surprised than anything because I hadn't expected to get through and I hadn't expected it to happen then. And after the essay and interview, I really wasn't sure how it went because the judges didn't really show much. They just asked their questions and moved on. So I wasn't sure if I would be part of the top three or not. And I was very pleasantly surprised to find out that I had won. Okay, let me tell you something, Tiwa. Uh... Usually for the judges, after the essay writing on the final day, usually they would have formed their impressions. What, what, what happens when they do the interviews is the interviews either validate you know, those impressions or 
somebody makes them to change their impression, either positively or negatively. So uh, I'm guessing that the reason why they didn't show you enough signs that you had won is uh, you probably had validated within a short time the impression they had in their minds. Lano, what, what do you, did you think you were going to win? No. no. When you made the, the, the top 10. At that point in time, you should have been a bit optimistic. I mean, I'm uh, confident It's one, in my one over 10 now, one out of 10 chances. Yeah? yeah, I was confident in my ability, so at least I'd reach this level. So I was like, I'll put in my all. And to be honest, I thought, okay, the essay would be about feminism or something related to the book. So when I got the topic, I was really thrown and I lost a lot of confidence <laughs> at that stage. Okay. Initially, the judges... I think they had your name on fourth, or I can't remember, or fifth, I can't remember now. And then it was like, okay, let's read everything all over again. So they took a long time reading all the essays again, reading the essays and the critiques. And, and you know, the three judges are really brilliant. Yeah, they are. So they went back reading everything again, critiquing, mm -hmm. you know, and they came back debating again and talking about your essay. You actually came in, okay. you know, and came into the conversation. And I'm like, no, 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 and all that. At the end of the day, there you are, second position. <laughs> I mean, if you get to sit down with the judges and see mm. when they work, yeah. that is a fascinating experience. And that was what it was for me, you know, just mm -hmm. listening to them debates. And, and they are humans too, you know, it gets confusing, particularly when the qualities yeah. are very good. You know, and it almost at par. Yeah. yeah, it's very so the the little details then mm -hmm. come into play. You know, so that's why that extra in the interview, that extra effort can make a massive difference. That extra effort in your writing on the day can make a massive difference. Uh, yeah. Okay, so Tiwa, what is your plan now um, going forward? This is good for you. I'm guessing. You want to do some more writing going forward, no matter the profession you decide to pursue. So I want to be a lawyer and I also want to work in politics. I want to study economics and international relations undergrad, then go to law school. And after that, I would like to work in a law firm before pursuing a career in politics. But I would really like to be a writer in fact, a little while ago, I was working on a short story that it was historical fiction set in old Oyo in the late 1800s, around that time where slave trade was just ending and legitimate trade was about to begin. And I really, and during my research for it, I found that dynamic between kings trying to hold on to their kingdoms and colonialists like eating their way in slowly by slowly. I found the dynamic at the coast really interesting. And I dug into, I really dove myself into that research. And I felt like all that knowledge didn't just go to waste on a short story. So I'm thinking of developing it into a book. And it's really fun. It's really going well. I like it. Um, Tiwa, what are your thoughts about the competition? Yes. Um, is it something you would like to encourage other young people to be involved in? Do you want to see the competition go on? Yes, I, w I think it's, it's really great that it's, that it's goes, that it continues. This is actually not my first time participating. I participated last year and what I really like about competition is that the books chosen are always Nigerian books. Now, I read a lot, and I usually have a lot of books with me. But if someone asks for a book, there's a certain stigma against Nigerian books. People just as people, I know a lot of people who just don't read Nigerian books, like they only read books by foreign authors, which isn't good. It isn't good for them because they're missing out on so many wonderful books and 
so many wonderful stories about the place they live in, and it isn't good for Nigerian authors themselves if they can't establish an audience in their own home country. And apart from the learning experience that the constitution is, it is introducing, it is giving authors like a larger platform, it is encouraging their books to be read. And I think that's something really nice. Do, do you share that thought? I agree, because I know, like you said, the number of people that run away from reading Nigerian books and there's a rich world that could be found in Nigerian books. My favorite book when they asked in the interview was a Nigerian book, Fantasy by Tomi Adeyemi. So I really think that this is a commendable effort in con encouraging people to embrace the rich diversity that is the books that are being by Nigerian authors. Okay, fantastic. G Ger Geraldine. I yes, think you're back, back with us. Okay, so I was asking you earlier when you went off a beat that um, would you like to see this competition continue? You have a word for other young people out there with regards to participating in competitions like this? Yes, I do. Um, I'd really love to say a very big thank you to Channels and Channels Book Club for giving us as wrong, um, young writers um, the opportunity to express ourselves. and. I do believe that the competition should continue because there are a lot of people whose um, talents need to be shown to the world. And um, I also want to encourage people out there to uh, take um, a step. Um, they should, um, whenever opportunities like this are given to them, they should try, even if they're not very um, confident that they're going to maybe get something out of it, but they should try. Um, if I hadn't tried, I don't think I would have been here today. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. Um, thank you, Tiwa. Thanks for your time. It's been great having you on Channels Book Club. And we're looking forward to having you in the studio physically very soon, just like we have Lano here with us in the studio so that we can um, do book reviews and so many other things to talk about. So thank you for joining us. And, um, and Geraldine, thank you too for joining us all the way from Aqua Ebon. Well done. Okay, um, I think probably lost them. Thank you, ladies. Um, Lano, thank you for joining us on Channels Book Club. Thanks You're for coming welcome. around. I'm and congrats once again. And keep writing, keep writing, keep writing, keep writing. Uh, did, you mention, um, uh, did you mention earlier what you wanted to study? Did you? No, I didn't. I'm not sure you did. I remember no. the other two ladies. What's your plan? Uh, I want to study psychology, but more specifically neuropsychology. Neuropsychology. Yes. Yeah, you look like that. Somebody will get into people's minds. Just be looking. <laughs> That's good. Well done. Thank you. I mean, no matter the profession, and then the writing skill is essential, really. Yeah. And quite a number of writers, yes. very successful writers all over the world, have writing is a second profession for them. They do have other things that they do. Yes. You know, so you're on the right track. Thank you well very done. much. Thanks for joining us on Channel Book Club. Yeah. When you see those students, when you see those young ladies, um, all the people that participated in the competition, the, the 10 finalists, you just believe that Nigeria has a future. I just wish that our leaders can look at these young ones and begin to plan ahead for them. They have so much, so much potential. It's been an absolute pleasure um, relating with them. And the judges had a blast too, our three judges had such a great time looking at all their submissions and they were fascinated by the brilliance of this young Nigerian. So kudos to the three winners and the other seven who could not make the top three. Well done.